Hi there and welcome to this video in which I'm just previewing the web page from which you will be down, able to download Sonic Pi 3.2.1 installer for Raspi and Buster tomorrow when it is published. This will run on a Pi 4, a Pi 3, a 3 Plus or even on a Pi 2, although somewhat sluggishly and slow on that. Uh, it requires the latest Raspi and Buster installation, one published on 2020.02.13, uh, but with that installed on your Pi, then it's very easy to load this new version of Sonic Pi. Um, there are three files connected with this. The first is a README file, which contains quite a lot of blurb, uh, just talking about the new uh, version and how it can coexist with the existing one, but how it's usually probably better to uh, disable the existing one so that you don't get confused between them. It goes through the installation process and also how to uninstall it if you want to at a later date and get back to where you started from. And then the disclaimer at the bottom uh, as to what, and, uh, I, what, and what support I'm able or not able to give to this. If we go back to the uh, main menu, uh, you may prefer to work pictorially. And so I've got uh, an installation file with pictures to guide you through the process um, of how to disable or remove the first the existing Sonic Pi from Raspbian and then how to install the, uh, the new one uh, after having made sure that your machine is up to date. And uh, that's simply a matter of double clicking on a file icon and then uh, you've got it there ready to run and it will appear on the menu down here as we'll see in a minute. And then there's a simple command you can type in a terminal window which will completely remove it from your machine again and then you're back to where you started from if you want to. So let's go back uh, to the beginning and without further ado we'll first of all download the deb file by simply clicking on this and uh, it just warns you that it could be do harm to your machine but you know uh, what it is and you're expecting to download it from here so we'll just say keep and it's now downloading the file onto this machine and um, while that's going on there it's done and we can actually um, go and <coughs> have a look at it um, in the downloads folder but there it is okay so we've uh, we can finish with the um, website now having got our file there um, I won't download the pictorial one at the moment because uh, I'm going to actually just take you through it. First thing we want to do is to come up to the menu here, down to Preferences, to Main Menu, Editor. And then we take the Programming section, which has got the existing Sonic Pi listed in it. And I'm simply going to untick that. The program is still there, it's just it won't appear in the menu, so you're unlikely to use it without reversing this procedure, which you can easily do. Um, and if we go and look at the menu now, there is no Sonic Pi existing in there. Um, you can, if you prefer it, um, totally, and, you, and you're hard up for space, you can go down to Preferences and to the recommended software uh, install here. I won't do it here to save some time. <coughs> and you've got, uh, 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 again, a list of the recommended software installed, and in the programming section will be Sonic Pi. You can simply untick that, and it will uh, uninstall the one which comes with the Raspbian distribution. But for the moment, we are concerned about the new one, and so the way to load this is you must do it um, from the graphic user interface. You don't use a terminal window to do this. Um, I'm going to switch this to look at the uh, icons there and you can see the icon for the um, <coughs> version 3.2.1 of Sonic Pi and um, the underscore 3 is just it's the third version I packaged here but it's still what you want. We simply double click on that and after a pause it says do you want to install this? We click on install and it's loading it and it then asks for some authorization to do so and I simply have to type in the password for the Pi user and I'm going to put the microphone down while I do this. There we are, hopefully I've typed that in correctly and I'm going to click on the OK. Yes, it's accepted that I think. No, it hasn't. I got it wrong. <laughs> Let's try again. Hopefully that's right this time. Yes, it is. <coughs> well, it just shows the password works. 
And if you're worried about coronavirus, uh, I suffer from gastric reflux, and that's my, my cough. It's nothing, nothing to do with the virus. <coughs> and so that's uh, now going up. You need to be connected to the internet for this to, to work, and there's actually pulling down some extra packages from the um, internet, and then it's installing these onto the machine together with uh, Sonic Pi, and that's now installed. And if we go to the menu down here on the programming section, we've got a new entry, and I've deliberately renamed this, not calling it Sonic Pi, but Sonic Pi 3.2.1, so you know exactly what you're getting. And if we double-click on that, that will install. Uh, that will start up, rather. And in a moment, we'll get the splash screen. There it is. You notice it's quite flash after it started. That was just the extra piece of software which allows the transparency setting to work in the new Sonic Pi 3.2.1. Um, it has been in previous versions on the Mac and PC, but was not previously available on Raspberry Pi. And there we have it running. Um, it's not giving the, the welcome screen because it's just picked up the last thing I did on this machine. Um, and with I think that was actually probably running together with the old one. And there we've got a program which is actually a program for a MIDI keyboard to play. Um, I can uh, show you it playing, but you won't actually hear it because um, I'm using a screen recorder and I've not connected this Sonic Pi output into the sound system. We can actually do this, but this is not something you'd normally have to do. Um, here we have Super Collider, which is the output of Sonic Pi. It's connected into the system, so I can hear it in my headphones, but I need also to connect it into the screen recorder by doing that so that you can hear it there. And we can now minimize that again. And um, if I pick up my MIDI keyboard, put down the microphone, I can start, hopefully, playing that. Uh, if I start the program running first, let's just come up here and do that. Um, there we go. Go down an octave. So there we have it. Uh, we've got uh, Sonic Pi 3.2.1 working, and here's one of the novel features to it. If we go to the visual uh, display, we've got a new slider here, and we can make it transparent, and you can see the um, folder from which we loaded it at the beginning. Right, so let's now uh, quit Sonic Pi, which we do in the normal way, simply by closing that window. And uh, let's suppose we decide that it's not really for us. I hope you won't do that. We can open up a uh, terminal window, and if I put down the microphone, I go to type the uh, command which is used to get rid of it. The command is simply to start a terminal window and type in, uh, oops, uh, I'll have to do that again because I've done it with the caps lock on and it won't like that. So turn the caps lock off and type again. Uh, in lowercase, I've typed a sudo apt purge sonic dash pi dash 3.2.1 and I'm going to press the enter key and um, it comes back and says, do you really want to continue? Uh, the Y is capital, so that's the default. I simply press the re enter key again and it's now going to remove the installed Sonic Pi and we can see if we go up here that it has actually gone from the menu and if I decide I want to go back to where I started from, I simply go back down to the um, main menu editor again. And we go to the programming tab. And down here we've got the original Sonic Pi sitting there. I'm going to enable it again by saying that. And if we come up here, we've got just saying Sonic Pi. And if we click on that, that's going to start up Sonic Pi 3.1.0, which was supplied with the Raspbian Buster um, download. And 
when that starts up, we will have the same program we're looking at, I think. It takes a bit of time to get going. There it is. Uh, actually, no, it's looking at this was the last program that this one was running because they um, have actually got their own set of um, preferences. And uh, if we run that, we can hear it running the Tilburg. Uh, it wouldn't be able to run the um, the other one at any rate because this version does not support MIDI. So we're back to where we started from. We'll kill that and um, you can hopefully wait until tomorrow when I will be posting on Twitter um, and on the in-thread uh, Sonic Pi um, site down here. Um, where exactly you can get the link to this and uh, you'll then be able to download it and try it out for yourself. There we go, there's the in-thread site. Okay, thank you very much for watching.